Hello, my name is Scott. I live in Chester County, Pennsylvania, and I have a Subdrive 75 by Franklin Electric. It powers my well pump, and um, I got a very unusual smell at around dinner time, around 5 o'clock, and I came downstairs and I had a five red blinking light, which means that there's a open circuit. It means that the something burned on one of the motherboards in the device, okay? Here's what it looks like. It is a subdrive 75. And this light, the lower light, was blinking five times, which means, in their description here, it says, uh, here, I'll go over and let's take a look at the document on the internet, found on the internet. And it reads, five blinking lights, open reading on DC test, check drop cable and motor resistance. That possibly could be an issue. But I kind of doubt it because I think I found the salute. I found the issue. Uh, Titan output connectors, repair or replace necessary. Use dry motor to check drive functions. Drive all not blah 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 blah. Well, most of that stuff is not correct because I went online and I found out that the Subdrive 75s are junk and they always burn out. And guess what? This one burned out because there's a nasty smell. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let me get my flashlight. I want to show you where this burn is. The board did burn. I'm going to try to show it to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this thing out of here. Take note, first and foremost, right here. Let me... Passengers, one, two. They will kill you. They'll fuck you up pretty good. They'll burn you up. You got to turn off the circuit breaker right away. Okay, before touching this thing, and you want to wait at least 10 minutes before screwing with this thing and let those capacitors decharge before you start wrenching around with this box, okay? But the uh, the burn is right in there. I don't know if you can make it out. Uh, let's see. Right in there. Can you see it? That's what caused the smell. So that, that leg in the board is dead. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm pulling this thing off of here. I mean, if I call up um, the company that installed this thing, they're just going to say it was broken and ask me to pay $2,000 for a new one. Okay, at the do-it-yourself website, a guy actually was talking about repairing this thing himself. And here's the board. The board that uh, faulted, that burned through on mine, looks identical to this with a little notch in the upper left-hand corner. It looks identical to this. I'm going to fix this thing myself right now. I'm doing it. Here's the board. So first thing is first, we've been waiting. The, uh, I pulled the box and shut the power off. It's been about 15 minutes. The capacitor should be uh, drained of all energy. Hopefully I don't learn the hard way. I'm gonna pull this wire off first. We're gonna take these leads off here and these top leads up here. I'll be taking a picture to make sure that I get the connections correct when I put it all back together again. Let's get busy. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna take any chances. I'm, I mean, it's been at least 15 minutes now. I'm sure they're discharged, but I am wearing this is a light surgical glove, but this hand, which will be coming in contact with the board, I've got two surgical gloves there. You can see the rubber sticking through there and this glove, and I'll probably put on another glove. I am not taking a chance with two 450 volt capacitors. So I just don't feel comfortable. I'm just gonna wear a, glove, a nice rubber glove here. We've got the wires on the lower leads taken off and we've got the leads up top removed. I took pictures, but probably don't even have to because they're staying there. Took this lead off, so we're looking good. No shocks, all as well. You know, so this one's fighting me a little bit. There it goes. It's gonna come out very nicely. Okay, here's the board, I believe. It looks like visually we've got a couple burned out leads or a couple burned out legs on this board. And I'm gonna show them to you right now. If I can get this thing set right, okay. We have, what looks to have here, one here, two, uh, three, four, we got four legs that are burnt. I guess you call these legs. So I need to put a wire from here to here, from here to here, 
and from here to there, and from here to these two to there. Cross your fingers. Well, after about two hours of slow, meticulous soldering and sanding the terminals and making sure that there's no lacquer on those terminals, I reconnected every single one. Burnt and there was Every one of these were burnt. I really think this is probably not going to work because it's not fixing the overall problem, which I believe is a pump that is working too hard. And that's why it burned up. So, I don't know. This might be a stupid move, but here we go. Well, here goes nothing. So I'll plug back in. If it doesn't smoke, and if we don't see a blinking lower light here, Little tiny LED light, if it doesn't blink, that light's solid and that one's not. And we are in good shape. Uh, here we go. Oh, dude. Holy. It's working. Green. Fans on. It's getting hot. No smoke. Solid blinking green light. Definitely getting hot. Wait till she shuts off. Ooh, I'm on pins and needles right now, people. The hissing sound is the pump running. And I believe that's it. it came back on again. The current going through that thing, man. And there you have it. I actually fixed it. So I'll tell you, the reason why I felt like I could accomplish that task is because of the following. I'll show you right now. You see all this crap right here? All these tools, soldering equipment, tape. It's because of this hobby right here. See this little tiny thing? I built this from scratch. And all that minute electrical know-how know -how that, that I used to build this thing for the first time just saved me $3,000. Okay, we got about, uh, we're about uh, 12 hours after the repair. We still have a green light. I did purchase a can of uh, electronic duster because it is a heat, heat issue. I want to get this thing cleaned out as best I can. I want to be careful not to touch the, the capacitors up here. They are slightly hot. I do feel some heat coming off of there. Uh, ooh, got to be careful not to touch the wrong thing. It hit my fucking head blowing off here. Clean it up a little bit. Just make sure it, you know, if the fan comes on, it needs to be clean in there. Looks like it's much cleaner now. All right. Well, it's holding so far. Still have the green light. I hope things hold up. It does store it. There is a scent. It may be from the old burn. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't see any evidence of any burning in there. The wires look like they're still in, like there's integrity. So I think we, uh, I think we are fixed. I, I did call up the, I called up the, um, the people who installed the, the, the hardware. I asked them if the, the, the reason why this occurred was due to the fact that there may be silt inside this pipe. 
due to the levels of iron in the water in this area, which is Chester County, Pensbury Township. Um, he said that he didn't think that that was an issue in regards to this being filled up with silt and the submersible pump fighting hard, which would draw more amps through this wire and then and burn this card out. He told me that he didn't think that that was the issue because the indicator would indicate that that was an issue. If there was a, an amp draw, this would flicker at a different rate other than the, the five flicker rate, which means that there was a open circuit break. So he told me he didn't think that that was the issue. He told me that what I did was absolutely correct in regards to fixing it. And um, so I guess the general consensus is that this thing is fixed. If there is anything that goes wrong in the future, I will certainly document it. Thank you very much for watching the video. Best wishes to you. I hope that this video has helped you. Don't be afraid to, to get in this thing. Make sure that when you turn the power off, you wait at least five minutes so that these two capacitors don't blow your head off. They are very powerful and they will hurt you. So don't go tinkering around without first turning off the power and then second, waiting for at least, I'd wait for 10 minutes to be safe. Maybe consider wearing some rubber gloves just to be triple safe before pulling this card out, okay? Before pulling the card out. Anyway, best wishes to you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you, and I wish you good fortune with your fix. This has saved me $2,000.